Hi, this is Abhijit and you are watching AB Study Circle. Do like, comment, share and don't forget to subscribe so that you don't miss any video from AB Study Circle. In this video lecture, we are discussing about a question that has been asked in CSVT University exam in 2007. The question is like this. In an air compressor, air flows steadily at a rate of 15 kg per minute. The air enters the compressor at 5 meter per second with a pressure of 1 bar and a specific volume of 0.5 meter cube per kg. It leaves the compressor at 7.5 meter per second with a pressure of 7 bar and a specific volume of 0.15 meter cube per kg. The internal energy of the air leaving the compressor is 165 kilojoule per kg greater than that of the air entering. The cooling water in the compressor jacket absorb heat from the air at a rate of 125 kilojoule per second. Right? The question asks us to find out first power required to drive the compressor and second ratio of the inlet pipe diameter to the outlet pipe diameter right so let's start first you should know that uh, when the question asks you to find out the power required it wants your WCV right in kilowatt terms kilowatt terms you should know that when the question wants you to find out the power that means it's indirectly asking you that what is the work done CV that is work done by the control volume in kilowatt terms right okay so start with the given values so we have the mass flow rate m dot as 15 kg per minute we can convert this to kg per second as 0.25 kg per second. Okay. The air enters at the inlet. We have your speed as 5 meter per second. Your pressure as 1 bar. That is nothing but 100 kilopascal. Again, we have specific volume small v1 as 0.5 meter cube per kg okay also it says that c2 at the outlet is 7.5 meter per second p2 is 7 bar that means it's 700 kilopascal we have v2 as 0.15 meter cube per kg also it says that the inlet uh, internal energy change between the outlet and inlet is 165 kilojoule per kg so u2 minus u1 this is also in specific terms right is 165 kilojoule per kg Okay. Also, it says that the cooling water in the compressor jacket absorb heat from the air at a rate of 125 kilojoule per second. Means the air is losing heat or rejecting heat QCV as minus 125 kilojoule per second. Okay which means it's nothing but it's minus 125 kilowatt right and see in this question there is nothing mentioning about potential energy change so we will assume assume z1 equal to z2 and what we have to find out to find First, your power that is WCV 
and d1 by d2 we have to find out this okay so we know sfee that is steady flow energy equation as h1 plus c1 square by 2 plus qcv is equal to h2 plus c2 square by 2 plus wcv this is your equation 1 okay we are have we have neglected your potential energies here and we get this uh, steady flow energy equation likewise okay but for calculation for calculation in kilowatt terms 1 becomes m dot h1 plus m dot c1 square by 2000 plus m dot QCV is equal to m dot h2 plus m dot c2 square by 2000 plus WCV right now It is m dot h1 plus m dot c1 square by 2000 plus it is what it is qcv it is nothing but qcv is equal to m dot h2 plus m dot c2 square by 2000 plus wcv okay now see we know h is equal to u plus pv so it can be written as at m dot u1 plus p1 v1 plus m dot c1 square by 2000 plus qcv is equal to m dot u2 plus p2 v2 plus m dot c2 square by 2000 plus wcv okay see from the question we have your m dot we have c1 we have c2 we have p1 we have p2 we have specific volumes at the inlet and outlet we have the uh, relation between the internal energy at the inlet and outlet and we have QCV also so everything is given in the question we have to just put this in this formula so that we can get a final value but we don't have uh, created the relation between U2 minus U1 like this here so we will what we are doing is that we will open this brackets and we will bring this m dot u1 to this side and we take out the common m dot so we get that u1 m dot into u1 minus uh, u2 minus u1 right okay m m dot e1 v1 plus m dot c1 square by 2000 plus qcv is equal to m dot u2 minus u1 plus m dot p2 v2 plus m dot c2 square by 2000 plus wcv okay so we are now just putting the 
given values here as 0.25 p1 is 100 into v1 is 0.5 0 0.25 into c1 is 5 so 5 square by 2000 minus 125 is equal to m dot again 0.25 multiplied by 165 because we have this relation given in the question and again we have 0.25 into your 700 p2 is 700 into v2 as 0.15 right again 0.25 into c2 c2 is what 7.5 square by 2000 plus WCV okay everything we have the values the unknown is just WCV if you calculate this you will get WCV as minus 180 kilowatt and this is your answer to the first part of the question and you see your work done or power which we got here is minus 180 we got this minus sign with this this means work is done on the system and we are assuming that compressor is our control volume and you know that in compressor work is given to the compressor so work done will come as negative okay now for the second part, uh, we know continuity equation as we know A1 C1 by V1 is equal to A2 C2 by V2. Equation for continuity. Okay. So from there we can get a relation between A1 by A2 as V1 into C2 by V2 into C1. What is A1? We can write this as pi by 4 D1 square and what is A2? We can write this as pi by 4 D2 square. Okay. What is V1? V1 is 0.5 into C2 is 7.5 by 0.15 into 5. This is cancelled out and from there we can get D1 by D2 as 2.24. This is the ratio between our inlet and outlet diameters.